Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this hexagonal lampshade in cryoparametric. So let's get started. And this will be done using three steps. First step is adding this plate. Then the second step, creating the hexagonal design. and then a toroidal bend. So this is how we complete this part in three simple steps and following these steps you can create a different kind of design. Now inside the feature there are some options which has to be considered while designing this part. So let's see that and for that let's create a new part. And for that go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now I will start this part with extruded plate onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Now here first I will place a center line somewhere here. And then I will create a rectangle, something like this. Now this value I will take 400, you can take your own dimension, this is 5. And then this value for this one more center line. And then go for dimension and add a diameter dimension, just like this. This you leave as it is and then say ok. Now the height of the plate is 1000 and make it symmetric, say ok. Now this total length is 1000 and when I will bend this part, this face will come and meet here. So after the bend, this 1000 will form like a circle. So I need to calculate the D. And for that we have a formula which is 1000 equal pi d. So d equals 1000 by pi. So just divided 1000 by pi. So this is the value you will get. Copy this and then go inside this feature, inside the sketch and this you modify. You need to take this value, say enter and say ok. So the diameter dimension depends upon the length of the plate. So if it is 800, then this will be different. If it is 900, it will be different. Or if it is 1200, then also it will be different. You need to calculate it and then assign the value. Now once this is done, next thing is creating a cut. And for this, first you create all the required reference and then place a hexagon somewhere here. I will take this as 20, rotate it like this and then you say ok. Now go to the dimension and from here till here. This I will take 20 and this value I will take 40. Both the dimensions are from this center. Now say ok. Flip the direction, remove material and make it to next. Say ok. Now go for pattern and here you go for fill pattern. Go to reference and define the sketch onto this face. Now once again go to reference, select this edge and this edge, then select this edge. Now draw a rectangle, start from here, go like this and then place like this. Now one more dimension, from here till here, this I will take as 80 
and I'll say OK. Now here inside this, you change to this option, third option and then spacing you take 40. So these values, you can take your own values as per your design. Now just say OK. So you got this design. Now I will go to the troidal bend. So go to the engineering, troidal bend. Go inside the reference, click here and select this body first and then define the sketch. Switch on the datum plane and select this mid datum plane and say sketch, normal. Switch off the datum plane. Now here once again, define all the reference. One reference is this, another is this. Then we have a reference here. Now draw a sketch just like this. This I am taking 300. Then I will go for arc. I will select arc like this. Draw like this and go to delete segment and delete these segments. So it has to be tangent here. Now this radius make it 100. Now go for spline. Just select this point and draw like this. Come out from the command. Now go to the tangent, select this and this. One more time spline and this time first point will be this, second this and then third this. Now this value is 45 and this is 75. This angle is 30 degree and this will be 60. I will take this dimension also. This is 32 and this value I will take 59. So these values you can decide by yourself. I will take one dimension from here, this angular dimension which is 90 degree. So you can create this curve as per your requirement and once this is done, the last thing you need to do is you need to place a datum coordinate system. Place a datum coordinate system somewhere here on this point and then immediately go for rotate resize and you just rotate it like this, say ok. So this is the y axis and this will be the x axis. So x axis should be parallel with this. Now just say OK. You are getting the result. Now this result is coming based on this radius. You have selected bend radius here. Now here you have three options. So I will go with the last option 360 degree bend. Then first phase you need to select this face and then last face you need to select this face. And it got bend, say ok. And the part is done. Now if you want to make it dense, then edit this feature first. I will delete this dimension and this I will make it 10 and this also 10 and this I will leave it 40. I will say OK and I will say OK. Now 
next thing I will do is I will modify this pattern here instead of 40 you take 20 and say ok wait for some time it will take time and it is done this is much more dense now just regenerate the toroidal bend again it will take some time control D and you got a dense hexagonal lamp shed. So that is it, you have designed your part. Now like the video if it is helpful, subscribe my channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.